Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Uh, time for another video. This one we're going to showcase and some new hooks here we got in. Uh, Firehole number 516s. These are their new competition jig hooks. Um, really like these hooks. They are jig hooks 1x heavy and uh, 1x gap. So there's a little bit wider gap and it's a heavy wire. I really like these. I think the heavy wire is going to get you down a little bit quicker and uh, just a really nice bend to these. So um, we're going to push these here a little bit today and um, you can get them at the shop. We carry the whole line of fire hole hooks and uh, they just come out with a couple new styles. Um, a really wide gap dry fly hook. I'm um, not sure what I would tie on it yet but it looks pretty cool anyhow, but I really like this jig hook, so let's get tying on it. What I'm going to tie on it is, uh, I call it the Golden Frenchie. I'm using a Golden Pheasant Tail. I love Golden Pheasant Tail. The colors you get whenever you put this, whenever you wrap this compared to a regular natural pheasant, uh, or ring neck pheasant, I should say. Um, you get a little bit more modeling out of this, and I just love the colors of this. And I'm actually going to use the red feathers on the side here, too, for the tail. Um, substitute wherever you can on this. If you don't have the whole tail, if you just have this, the center pieces, that's fine. Um, if you have some red strung hackle or something like that, that would work good here, too. So, like I said, substitute for the red tail. Even use natural pheasant, or the, you can use the golden pheasant. It's just not as strong as the uh, natural foot or ring neck pheasant, I should say. Um, so let's get into tying this. All right, this is the golden Frenchie. Uh, you can see how I said about using the golden pheasant. How you get a little bit more modeling and stuff in the body. I really like that. And uh, let's get into tying it here. We're gonna tie this on a fire hole 516 hook. It is a competition jig hook. For a bead, we're using a 764th or a 3 millimeter gold tungsten slotted bead. Okay, I am going to take um, some lead wire, 0.015, and I'm just going to make like 3 to 5 wraps. Just enough to hold the bead in place. And, um, like I said, I'm just putting a little bit on there, just to give me a little bit extra and more to push that bead up into place and uh, to hold it there and hold it from coming back. Now the next thing I'm going to put on is some 140 denier orange thread. And you can use whatever color here. I'm just using this because I'm going to end it with an orange hot spot collar. So... For the tail, this is the red feathers that is on the back of a, on the bottom of a golden pheasant tail. Now it's red on the top side and it's brown on the back side. So it's like a coffee brown color. And uh, we're just going to pull off about five of those fibers and try to get them matched up here so they're pretty even. Okay, and then we're just going to tie that down for the tail. And about the length of the body, like always, you don't want a big long tail. That's a little long, so we're going to shorten that up. There we go. These are kind of thick fibers, so you don't need a lot of them. And um, I'm just going to make a wrap underneath them to hold them up so they don't, don't bend over the hook there. There we go. Okay, and then we'll trim off the tag here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of um, small or brassy gold wire. We're just going to tie that on the side. Okay, and then we're going to put our golden pheasant on. And for the golden pheasant, I'm just going to cut a slice off of the side of the, the main, one of the center, uh, center tails there. And I'm going to cut five or, six, five or six fibers off of it. And then I'm going to wrap them in by the tip end, okay? I'm not going to wrap them in by the end I cut off, but by the tips. And these are pretty long. That's another reason I like these. These are longer than ring neck fibers. So they're a little bit easier to work with. Okay, there. You see I got my tag there, and I'm just going to cut that off. And I'm going to cover this up with thread and bring my thread back up to the bead. 
Okay, now I'm going to take these and I'm just going to wrap them. Just wrap this the whole way up, just like you do a pheasant tail or a Frenchie. Okay, and you see how it just blends nice. There's browns and blacks, and it's a lighter brown than a pheasant, and it's a dark black. So you get a lot more contrast, I feel, using this method over a regular pheasant tail. That's why I like the golden pheasant so much. Okay, once we get that wrapped off, two, you know, two, three good tight wraps, then we're going to counter wrap with gold wire. And this will protect it because these are pretty uh, brittle, I guess it would be a good word, brittle fibers. Okay, and then we're just going to bring that up to the bead and tie it off. Do two or three turns there and it'll pop off. Now the last thing we're going to put on is just a small collar of some dubbing. And uh, use whatever color you like here. Uh, you might like to have a pink dub, dub one. I like a natural color. Um, I'm using some SLF Prism and uh, chocolate brown. I like a little bit of flash rather than uh, the pinks. I do tie sometimes with pink. So use whatever color you like here. Um... I like the brown to keep it a natural color. And you don't need much, you just want to make a color that's just going to make it slightly bigger than the body there. And then we're just going to make a couple wraps right behind the bead. And we're just going to whip finish it off to make a hot spot collar. And that is all that is to this very simple Frenchy fly. It's, a, it's an essence of Frenchy, just using some different materials. And uh, you see how nice and easy and quick that was. You can hammer a bunch of these out and these catch fish. So give this a try. Get yourself a golden pheasant tail. You don't have to get the full tail like I had there. Get, uh, you know, get the center tail, the center tails. And um, use, change the tail up. Change the tail on your fly, I mean, up. You don't have to have the red one. Use whatever. Use pheasant tail fibers, whatever you need to do. So... Just giving you a different way to tie something. Hope you like this. The material you need to tie it, you can find on our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. So check us out there. And please take the time to subscribe to our channel. And uh, like us on Facebook and Instagram so you're constantly updated with new things we have coming out at the shop. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Sean Holsinger.